What's up? What's today, Tuesday? Hey, welcome back. Another video for you guys. Yeah, I know, pretty cool, right? Hey, today I got you guys a cool little uh, plugin that you could put into your OBS. I'm talking like right now. You can go get it, plug it in. It's from Exceldro. It's amazing, dude. I'm going to show you right now. I'm not going to get I, no fluff. Just right on in. Check this out. All right, now that we're at the uh, the old desktop here, you see OBS is open. You see I got a little camera here. I got a little display capture. Wouldn't it be cool if you could capture like two different sources full screen at the exact same time without having to make a super wide canvas and then capture both and then crop out one and then crop out the other? Check this out, dude. If I just hit record, look what over happens uh, up there. You see it? Yeah, three different, three different files right there, man. If I go ahead and hit stop recording, now what do we see? Now we see we have uh, three different captures right here. Now, what are each one of these things? Well, if I double click on this, most likely you're going to see, oh, it's uh, it's my old cam. We just recorded that. Well, that's, that's pretty normal. But if I go ahead and click on this one, well, that's my desktop. That's that's what we just we just saw this, right? So that's interesting. What is this one? Oh, that's a really bad looking one. I wonder what that means. Huh? interesting concept that's kind of going through your head right now like wait are you capturing multiple different things at the exact same time right now i am that's right man so i got three different things going on here i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install it make it happen and make your recordings for your i don't know youtube videos and whatnot that much easier D don't worry about the quality i assure you can fix the quality i, I assure you and it's called source record and much like the name entails you can record individual sources while recording inside of obs now you can choose to record an OBS or just record the sources or everything like I just showed you. And I'm going to show you guys here how to do it. All you got to do is download the plugin. You extract it to your desktop. You take that file. You you install it to your computer. Make sure OBS is closed. It gets installed just like that. Now you're good to go. Open up uh, OBS and let's get started. First things first, you're going to want to set up your recording for your OBS just in general, right? Your normal recording settings, however you stream or record. Uh, you come over here, you go to your uh, little output tab, you go to your recording tab. Now you can use whatever your stream encoder is. In this case, I am. So I'm going to go back over to my streaming encoder here. And you can see that we're at 100 kilobytes per second. Now that's why that video looks so pixelated and gross because I had it set to 100 kilobytes here and we're actually going to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and dial this up to, let's call it 10,000. I wouldn't stream 10,000. You can't do it. 8,000 maximum for Twitch. Uh, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. I'm going to go ahead and leave my keyframes at two, max quality high. I'm going to leave this all as is. I don't know, push the beat frames up to four and leave it as is. Perfect. Now when I record, I'm going to be recording at 1920 by 1080. I'm also going to be recording 60 FPS. And I'm also going to be recording at, uh, you know, 10,000 kilobytes per second. So not too bad. Should look pretty decent. Now I'm going to hit apply. I hit OK and we're good to go. So now we're going to move on to the actual source recording part of this. It's really simple, man. I have a, uh, a simple camera right here. I have a display capture if I hide the camera. You can see I got the display. We're going to go over here to our camera, right click on that, go to filters, and we're going to add a simple, what the brand new thing is called here, source record. Now, if you don't see that, you install it wrong, obviously. Now, we got the source recorder here. I'm actually going to call this source record. And we're going to call this camera. Okay, now we have a source record for our camera. Now, uh, before I get into these settings, I'm going to close out. I'm also going to add one for our display capture. Go to filters, add a filter, add a source record, and we're going to call this one uh, source record dash display. We're going to go to our source record, the filter, and I'm going to go down here, and now you have a couple options. You have always streaming, recording, and streaming and recording, and that is to dictate when you're recording the image that you are putting the filter on. So there, there is multiple ways to do this. You can set it up to be like a hotkey where you hit a hotkey and then it starts recording on its own. Or you can just have it as when you hit record down here, which is what we're going to show you guys right now, that it would start recording these things separately. The reason I'm doing it this way is because when I go into post-production, I can just drag all my clips in and they're all going to be synced already. So I don't have to worry about having to sync up different recording times. I hit the hotkey for this source and the hotkey for this source and you know, they're off sync a little bit and I got to sync it up in post-production. This way, they're all going to be synced across the board. I'm going to leave this on recording. That way, when I hit record, it's going to start recording this individual source as well as my main whatever's in this preview window program window thing over here. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, where you set your path. Now, I just set mine to the desktop just now. And also on top of that, because I'm recording just my camera, this is the file naming process. But I'm going to make it something a little bit more unique and call it camera. So now it's set the camera. Now, this is where you choose your file recording format. I'm just going to select MP4 and uh, we'll leave it as is. Now, your replay buffer, you could do a little replay buffer and like re-import the... Uh, what you're recording here with your source record 
thing, uh, but we're not gonna worry about the replay buffer. And uh, down here in the stream mode, now the same thing, if I hit start streaming, would it start recording the thing? Would it start streaming it elsewhere? Uh, yada, yada, yada. Now, down here, you have a selection of a different audio type. Now, this will just look at the source's audio itself, or if I hit different audio because this is my camera, I actually wanna pick up my microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this little drop down menu, and we're gonna hit mic. Now it's going to start recording that microphone that you can see down here that's making levels and it's going to sync it to that video. Next step is coming down here, much like we did set up our OBS, you're just going to go over here and set up your uh, your recording type. Okay, so I have a couple extra features here because I have a uh, stream effects plugged in. That's a whole nother tutorial if you guys want it. I was originally trying to select this uh, NVENC uh, H264 new. That was causing some issues and I couldn't actually record two sources at the same time. I'm going to choose NVENC here and we're going to go ahead and set our bitrate to, let's call it 25,000 bitrate. That should be pretty good quality, especially for 1080p. I'm going to leave it as is, the little eyeballs on, that's to uh, tell you that, hey, when you do start to record, it is going to record something. Now, if I had this deselected and I hit record, it would not record this video. It's only going to record the source if I have this little eyeball on, so... Now you know. Now we're gonna go to our display capture and do the exact same things. Now, normally, if you hit start recording, it's gonna create a file type in the uh, the folder that you chose the file to go to. And normally when you start recording, whatever's here in your program monitor, that's what is being outputted to the, the recording. But in this case, when I hit start recording, you're gonna see over here in the upper left-hand side of your screen, we have three different files being created. You got that top one, you got camera, and you also got display, and you can see them all right here. Camera, display, and then you got this top one. That's actually the program. Now. With the program, if I actually come down here and I unlock my sources and I start dragging things around, make this over here, maybe something like that. Maybe take this guy, make him kind of small, something like that. And maybe this is what I like. Now, you might be kind of concerned with, well, now what happens with the camera and the display? You just moved everything around all, in, all inside that scene. Well, let me show you. So if I stop recording, you can see in the upper left-hand side of your screen, you can see all three of these different recordings coming in. You have your camera, your display, and your main program feed. Now. If I open up the old program feed, you're going to see much like we did a second ago and how we recorded it. As we go through this, you're going to see that we end up starting to mess with the program and everything starts changing and looking a little bit different. But now let's go ahead and pause that. This is our one video right here. If I go back to our display, you're going to see everything happens as before, except we're seeing our entire display, which is what we want in the end, right? Over to our camera and when I open up the camera, you're going to see that we also have this camera full screen the entire time as we record through the entire video. So. You can see all three different file types are the same size. They're all going to go into the exact same kind of timeline. Now, if I were to put them all in the same timeline, you would see it all playing at the exact same time at the exact same start time. So pretty freaking cool. One other thing I can do here, I can actually set these to be a hotkey recorded event. So if I actually come over to my settings and I go over to hotkeys, I can go find my individual sources and set them to record when I want. So we're going to scroll down here to camera. You can see we have source record enable and source record disable. If I hold shift, maybe one, maybe shift two, that'll be the hotkey to uh, enable the camera to start re uh, recording. And then if I go down to my display, we have another one. So let's do uh, maybe shift three, shift four. Now I need to change the actual source recording filter. So if I go back over to here, source record and actually turn this guy off, I'm going to set this now to always. That way, anytime this little eyeball is activated, it's going to start recording just that image. So I'm going to set this to always. It's going to record to the same place. I'm going to hit close. And now if I hit shift plus one, it's going to start recording my camera and you're going to see another file type over there on the left hand side. And if I hit shift two, it's going to stop it. And now I have that brand new file up here in the top left hand side. So I can always open this guy up and uh, check it. And just like that, we have our brand new file type and there you go. Now there's the video I wanted. So that's it. That's this whole tutorial. Very simple. Uh, hopefully this, this helps you out. It's basically to take individual sources, record them individually, and then bring it into an editor later on. So maybe you have your gameplay and your camera and you want to be able to scale that however you want for your YouTube videos or however you see fit and, uh, you know, do whatever you want with those individual sources. Now, I tried three sources before, and it didn't really work, and I ended up only recording two of them. Now, because I couldn't do three different individual source recorders, so what I could do is I could have my program record, which is the main OBS recording, recording whatever I want, however I see fit, and then having my two other sources that have the source record plugin on, recording individually, so I could bring all three of those somewhere else afterwards. So, technically, I could have my gameplay on one scene, I could have, uh, my camera on another scene and I could have, you know, my combination of something or a separate device on a third scene. Now, OBS will record that third scene if I have it as my main program. And then, you know, if I have uh, my other two on there, I can still record those two. So pretty cool. Now I have all three of these sources here. I got the camera. I got the display capture. 
and I have the uh, the main capture here. I would recommend you'd always do two, but if you want to push it and try to get three different sources captured at the same time, you can definitely try that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helped you out. Hope this is uh, unlocking some doors in your head for you guys that record inside of OBS to uh, make some YouTube videos. So there you go. Enjoy and uh, shout out to Exceldro who keeps creating all these beautiful plugins. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but I made a TikTok and I'm on Instagram and everywhere else. So go check those things out, dude. I'll put a, a link down below to all my social media. It's, it's a link tree thing, but check it out. Nice and cool, dude. All, 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 different content everywhere. So, hey, I'll see you guys over there and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Bye.